In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. This morning we celebrate Wednesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. We celebrate this morning the Mass in times of pandemic. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there are, is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its path passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. 
Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you. You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, woe also to you scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. We continue with what? We continue with that theme that we discussed yesterday a bit. The contrast of the external and the internal. Today's passage follows yesterday's. And When we talk about the external, when we talk about what we do, yes, as Paul reminds us, what we do is important. Are we going to engage in sorcery, hatreds, or drinking bouts? Sorry, I gotta admit, the drinking bout sounds kind of attractive at some level. But are we otherwise going to engage in patience, gentleness, and self-control? And whilst patience and gentleness are somewhat of an internal attitude, they obviously show themselves in what we do, how we act. The gospel does the same thing. What's with the external and where is it coming from? What is internal that is expressing in the external? And remember how it started yesterday. Look at this guy. He's not washing his hands. Granted, in a time of pandemic, oh, any time, wash the hands. And, but an external, but what was behind it? Why the washing of hands? Because it adds to health, and that's a good attitude to bring about coming from inside, or because this is what you do, this is what you're supposed to do, look good. What are we doing? 
Yes, a very fair and important question. Why are we doing it? Just as important. Together with one voice, let us offer God our prayers and petitions. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit animate each of her members with new joy and zeal for Christ's mission. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in authority, may God give them the grace of humility. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by poverty, hopelessness, or sickness, May God give them peace and provide relief for their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community gathered here, may God preserve us in harmony and humility through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For Ted Jupina and for all those who have died, may they find endless love, joy, and peace in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayers, and in your grace, answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, 
we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Nelson our Bishop, his assistant bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly, after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. O oh God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.